Number one. Yeah, box of fish. This makes everything better. What is happening, everybody? Would you believe that it happened again? Ah! Yep, having to run the generator. Gotta hurry and shut that down. So, as you guys can see, the lights are back on. I did just get home from work. We had another windstorm blow through our area and uh, with tons of rain and it knocked out the power again at about 3.45 this morning. Check out this map. Serious thunderstorms, crazy, just insane amounts of weather. It's just absolutely insane. So, uh, what I had to do was get the generators going again this morning at about 345 like I said is when it went out they were saying about 645 is when the power should come back on So I kind of waited it out because I knew they'd be okay for a little bit 645 comes around 7 o'clock nothing so I went and set the generators up as you can see here. I got just a bunch of crisscrossing going on over here to get Get this stuff all running right now while the power was out so the reason why the generator is still on is because I got to unplug all this stuff and plug it all back in. So having a generator is so important. Also central air, yes, sponge filters are ugly, but the fact that I could plug that in and most of these tanks get filtered. Uh, let's see, this tank and that tank over there are on canisters. But uh, yeah, definitely a huge plus having that generator. You guys all still hear another generator? Yeah, I had to set the one up for the saltwater tank too. So yeah, boy, what a morning. We got a box of fish. So yeah, box of fish, this makes everything better. So as you can see, pretty gray skies out. It was, like I said, just stormy as can be, but uh, power's back on, so that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Doing this with one hand ain't, no, it ain't easy. Do it with that ain't easy. Whew. Okay. Where to? Where to? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the pike and the lonesome hawk into this tank because the red bullies are gone. Sold them to someone local. We're gonna use this net and the goal here is to basically try to trap them into one side. Come on now. Go inside the neck. Well, well, we got this guy. This guy's huge. No! All right, so kind of got this tank cleaned again. Uh, obviously the fake plants are nothing like the real deal. We know that. But uh, I wanted to add some places where these new fish can hide uh, to settle on in. So let's go ahead and open it up. We got three fish. These came from Texas. And uh, they're all wrapped up to where you can't see them. So uh, there's one, right? And two. And number three. All right, here we go. We are at the tank. Time to get them out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Number one. Here we go. Oh, 
All right, everybody, so it is the next day, and what I gotta go do is I gotta run down to town and pick up a couple of things at the store so that we can get the new fish to eat. But let's take a quick look at them. Calberry peacock bass. There's number one, there's number two, and then the third guy. Yeah, you can see his reflection in the glass. He likes to hide underneath that plant. But uh, let's go to town. We're gonna take a quick trip down into town and pick up some stuff. All right, safety first. Get that belt on. Okay. All right, so our first stop is gonna be Ace Hardware. I'm gonna see if they got something in here I need. So what we're doing is we're going down the fishing section because they may have night crawlers. They always do, but we'll see if they have them now. Here we go. Yep, perfect. So we're gonna get a thing of night crawlers. It's gonna take this one. All right, this is step number one right here. All right, we are at stop number two. All right, here we go, boom. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of these night crawlers and um, pick maybe one or two of them out. So what I know of from these fish is that the supplier told me that they're only eating live food right now. Makes sense. Now I saw DWS Darius do this, so a shout out to him. I'm gonna give his method a shot and see what happens. So there's the worms. Both of these night crawlers rinsed off. And then we got this wild caught raw shrimp that is already peeled and deveined. So it's gonna be just nice clean. So what I saw him do was he basically got a piece of shrimp and he tied or attached one of the worms to it because again with these fish they want to go after things that look alive. That's what everything that I've seen with research to get them to entice them to eat. So with this worm being alive and moving around and stuff it should entice them but we want to get some good scent on there with the shrimp and we want to entice them to start eating this type of stuff. All right, there we go. Got that tied on there. So uh, let's see what happens. All right, everybody, so it's been a few days since the fish got here, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in some live worms to see if we can get them to eat. So let's try that real quick. There's one of them. There's that piece of worm there. We'll see what happens. Um, and then, yeah, the other two, you can see the reflections there behind the plant. All right, so they did not go after the worms. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time for them to settle on in. Um, as expected, they're eating live food. So, you know, it's a matter of them getting comfortable enough in the situation of the tank to being able to eat the live food. Um, but I do have some feeders coming from a reliable source. Um, I do not trust goldfish or anything like that from your big box stores uh, because the conditions are not healthy in those tanks and the fish are not healthy and you're risking your fish getting sick by feeding those types of things to them. So I got some feeders coming in this week. Um, we'll be you know, putting together something to make sure that these guys are eating and then I can show you guys on a future video. But there we go, we got three Kaleberry Peacock Bass. They're gonna be super awesome. Once they settle in, it's gonna take time, we all know this. 
Um, but anyway, I gotta get back to work. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that sub button, like button, and giving a comment down below. The analytics are showing that a majority of the viewers are not subscribed. If you could hit that sub button, that'd be absolutely awesome. You'd make my day, it's free and all that other good stuff. Plus, it's all about fish. So if you like fish, hit that sub button. Talk to you guys soon. We got more videos coming. Next Saturday, we're dropping another saltwater video. Maybe another thing this week. We'll see. But anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Stay tanked.